You know what's wrong with most churches? Amen. Pastors' wives. Amen. Hello? Deacons' wives. Amen. Now, you're not going to hear that, and nobody's going to say it because the pastor's sitting there, the, pa the assistant pastors, the assistant pastors' wives, associate pastors' wives, Sunday school teachers' wives, uh, uh, the treasurer's wives, the usher's wives. And so what you don't see what goes on in the background is the wife, you know, painting her eyes and painting her lips and painting her cheeks and painting her fingernails and painting her toenails. And you say, you better not teach on that. What, coming home and huffing and puffing all the time. And you, what are you, you're going to embarrass me in front of everybody? Well, somebody needs to be embarrassed sometimes, amen? So here's a perfect, a perfect illustration where the wives are influence, evil influencing their husbands. And most husbands are a bunch of spineless cowards, man. They're a bunch of Ahabs. Yes, happy wife, happy life. No, that's a lie out of hell, man. Huh? That's a lie out of hell. Where, what Bible chapter and verse is that in? Huh? Where was that in the Bible? The truth of the matter is, happy husband, happy, happy home. That's more true. I'm not saying that's in the Bible either. That's more true than a happy wife, happy life. Keep reading here. This is what the wives did to the men who did to Jeremiah, put him in the dungeon. Watch this. Verse 17, but we will certainly do whatsoever thing goeth forth out of our own mouth to burn incense unto the queen of heaven. There's a, he there's a queen in heaven. 